Hello, this is Mark Wildman of Wildman Athletica, and today we are going to talk about a mace exercise, the Gunstock 360 Elbow Catch. This movement has a bit of a weird name. I call this the Gunstock Elbow Catch. Other people will call this position something else. I call it this position because I've watched Last of the Mohicans and the Patriot far too many times. And this is a position that the actors in the movie rest in when they're holding a long rifle. You will also see this position in classic sword and sorcery movies. This is a way that somebody would carry a long sword or a long object. They would place the heavy part of the implement in their hand and have the light part stick out over their elbow, but it allows people to rest and carry for a long period of time. This is a historical position that was in fact used and we have plenty of documented evidence of that in art and other things. Simple idea, palm faces towards the sky, put the heavy part of the mace in your palm, cross it across your center line and stand at rest. We're gonna move to the other side by doing a 360. Drop your elbow down, don't drop the mace. Do not hit yourself in the side of the head with the light end of the mace palm faces away. Stand the weight all the way up. Slide your hand down. 360, top hand past opposite ear. Pause. Bottom hand comes off. Palm faces the heavy part of the mace. Rotate it down. Control the tip of the mace so you don't smack yourself in the face. Rotate your palm back up, resting on the other side. Nice and slow in the beginning. Drop elbow down. Don't hit yourself. Palm faces away. Slide up, hand goes down, 360 around the head, pause, palm faces away, rest, pause, drop your hand down, straighten your elbow all the way out, squeeze your tricep, palm crosses in front of your face, rotate up. During this rotation, your hand is going to pivot on the mace head. The bottom hand takes over, slide your hand down, Top hand goes past opposite ear, around the head, pause. Bottom hand, palm up, rotate down, perfectly straight arm, resting position. Now let's demonstrate this with the 8X adjustable mace system. 8X adjustable system is probably the best use of your money. Handle, same length as other steel maces, adjustable weight so you could start light and make it heavier over time. Palm faces towards the sky, heavy part in your hand, drop down, elbow perfectly straight. Do not let your hand swing out when doing this movement, otherwise the end of the mace is gonna clock you in the side of the head. Don't do that. 90 degree angle in the elbow. Straight arm, tight to body, make the handle vertical. Palm faces away, rotate up, slide hand down, top hand, opposite ear, pause. Bottom hand becomes the top hand, palm faces away. Stop it, perfectly vertical, in control of every movement. Resting position. Drop, around the head, pause, palm faces away, and catch. Additional historical aside, people also used to use this position to carry one-edged swords. You'll specifically see this in Shaolin, but it's in many different types of single-edged sword arts throughout history. The point was, the sharp blade was facing away from you. You could put the dull side in your elbow, in the crook of your elbow. You had your hand on the handle, and you could stand and talk to people or do whatever you needed to do, or you could walk without the sword flailing around and doing all kinds of weird things. Hold it edge towards the sky so you're not cutting yourself. You'll see this in Shaolin martial arts, and it will start here, elbow goes down straight, hands go up ahead, it transfers to the other side, and then it does all kinds of other cool stuff. Very simple idea. Any position that you see repeated in multiple cultures across multiple epics of history is probably a position you should be familiar with moving in and out of, because people have found it to be an efficient movement strategy for hundreds of years. You do not have to go fast. You should be precise. You will get faster and faster over time by simply repeating the action a little bit every day. Multiple small sections every day. Do a minute, move on to another exercise, integrate it into your ideas, then add stepping patterns.